Hello everyone, welcome back to P Mr P. As requested by Harvey, we have a game of take it or leave it. Behind me, if I just move to the side, um, what you're going to need for this game is one, two buckets <clears throat> or pots or something similar and an object in the middle. I've used a yellow ball here as you can see on the, on the white cone. Uh, this is a partner-based game where you can take it in turns to play against uh, siblings or family members etc to try and take or leave the object in the middle. As you can see here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we have two starting positions, one for each person, and they start next there, uh, beginning back up. I've used cones, you don't have to use them, um, just obviously hope to, uh, for you to be able to see them better. And when somebody says go, or you count down together, three, two, one, you run towards the middle, and you try and steal the ball. Now the game is called Take It or Leave It, because uh, you have to try and either take the ball and get it back to one of the buckets, doesn't matter which one, or you have to leave it and obviously try and tag the person before they get it. So it's a, an attacking and defending principle style game. We're looking for nice, good body positions, trying to get people off balance and use a bit of your dodging and sidestepping skills uh, to get around or past them. Uh, when you're playing, you when you pick up the ball, you have to try and get back to the, the pots or buckets or maybe just drop it into it before your partner tags you. If you do that, you get a point. If your partner decides to pick it up or you've left it alone or they've grabbed it quickly, then you've got to try and tag them before they put the ball into one of the buckets or the, the hoops, uh, whatever you're using. And opposite, if you can get them to do a false tag, if you can trick them into tagging you so you fake to try and get it and they tag you, obviously that's a false tag so you get a point for that as well. As you're playing this game, uh, you can obviously alter the starting distances to make it easier or harder if you're playing with siblings or uh, dad against son or whatever, whatever you decided to do so I can move that a little bit closer towards the younger person or you could just increase the distances just to make it a little bit harder and more exciting. A little safety tip for this game when you are running towards the middle what we don't want is head bumps and bangs and so on so just be careful you don't crash into each other and when you do happen to go down to get the ball you might or whatever you're using you just need to be careful you don't both go towards the middle so I'd always say head to the side as you're trying to pick it up so you don't crack heads because that's not a nice thing to happen. Um, uh, as you're playing, uh, if you decide that somebody's find this a bit easy or they might be a bit faster than you, you can obviously change the starting position. So like I said, you can move that closer or further away from that person. What you can also decide to do as well is you can change their starting positions. So if you want them to make it easier, you'd be standing up or just slightly crouched. If you want to make it harder, somebody could be uh, sat on their bottoms, uh, they could be lying down on their backs, they could be lying down on their fronts. Obviously it just takes a little bit longer to get up and get moving and gives the other person a slight head start or advantage. If you are playing as well, you can change a scoring system. So you might have, if uh, you're playing with a much younger younger brother or sister or child, then they might get three points if they make a steal. Um, if you're playing with someone's a bit older, they obviously score one point. And you can change the scoring system because it is actually slightly harder to take it. So you can have two points for a, for a steal and one point for a tag. And you could add an interesting rule like three points for a false tag or something as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoy Take It or Leave It and I'll catch up with you soon.